Okay guys, I'm in my shop right now. I got to work and a package was delivered to me. I am so excited. This is from my pen pal Lisa. Check out this giant box. I cannot wait for after work and I can go into my workroom and open up this box. But since we're here, let me give you guys a little look around the store. A few things have changed. Take a look behind me. This is a model railroad setup. One of my friends who owns a dumpster company um, hires out his dumpsters for people who are doing home renovation. Well, he went to pick up the dumpster. This was in it. So he immediately called me up and he said, Benny, I think I have something for you. And of course, I couldn't wait to see what it was. He brought it by the store and check this out. It wasn't a dumpster, so there's a lot of broken pieces and everything, but it still looks really good. The guy who had this must have put so much love and care into building this railroad train set up. I mean, the tracks are in a figure eight, there's a bridge, there's water, there's blue skies. I just love it. And the weird thing is, a while ago when I was in school, a long while ago, I worked in an antique store and I purchased uh, from one of the dealers in the antique store, a collection of miniature houses for railroad train setups. And of course, over the years, I've sold it because I didn't have one of these, but I kept a small box of these little houses that were broken that I couldn't resell. I just kept it for me, thinking one day I'm going to repair it. So it was just a little shoe box of these little houses. After I got this, I went looking for that box and I just found it again. I just... I'm so excited. I can't wait to reassemble the little houses. I think they just need gluing, but I'll show you guys what's in the box. And I'm just going to set it up. And this is in the shop. It is huge. But thank goodness we have room for it because I love it. And the kids, my kids absolutely love it. They can't help staring at it. Because when you look closely, it is really detailed. And the kids who come into the shop, they all love looking at it. So as long as I don't need this room right here, I'm going to keep this here. But when I do need the room, I might have to move it to someplace else. But I'm always going to keep this. I just, I'm so happy to have it. I just love it. So I'm going to go back to work. And after work, I'm going to open the box for my pen pal, Lisa. So guys, before I go to work, I want to give you guys a closer look at this model railroad. It is incredible the amount of detail he put into it. This is a tunnel he built. Look at that. And I'm just going to go around and you guys can see. Obviously, since it wasn't the dumpster, like I mentioned, there are parts that are broken. But if you could just ignore that and take a look at what this man built... It is just fascinating. Look at that. I just love this thing. And every time I look at it, I see something different. Look at that bridge back there. And it, the backdrop, the blue skies, is a separate piece that you attach to the back. And look at this. And he put so much work into it. At one point, this is where one of his buildings were, and it was wired, so it lights up. Look at that little light there. And this is his parking structure. And it gives another pad for another house. So I'm going to really take a look. Look at all the fallen trees. It looks like, it, you know, even in this distressed condition, it looks like the, there must have been like a storm or something. The trees have fallen over. And look at his rock formation. This is so detailed. So guys, I'm going to go back to work now. I'll see you guys soon. Okay, guys, I'm going to open this box from this side so you guys can see everything. Nice sturdy box. Let's see. what's in here oh my goodness let's put this on the floor let's 
see what we're gonna pull off first. Let's... Oh my god, guys. Look at who we have here. This is Chloe. Uh, she's one of the 24 inch Bratz dolls called the Big Bratz. Let's check out how big this shoe is. It's right into place here. Look at her bell bottom jeans. Let me just snap this in place. Okay, that looks like it's in. And look at her. This is, a, she's gorgeous. So I'm going to put her right here. And I'm going to slide this box back a little bit so we can see what else is in the box. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at this. This is another one. This is Big Brat Yasmin. Look at her. I, how pretty this girl is. And she's dressed. This is the outfit she came in. If you guys look it up. Um, I'm not sure about the necklace though. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. And look at look at her giant shoes. Let me snap it in place here. Okay. That, okay, that still might need to go in. But you guys get the idea. Let's take a look at her. With her shoes. Okay, I'm gonna put her here. Oh my goodness. Let me keep opening. What else is here? Oh, you guys, look at this. Disney Animated Bell. Oh my gosh. Look at that. This she still has the factory um ties that tied her to the box. She has the factory elastic in her hair beautiful yellow dress and look at her ringlet it still feels like it has that um you know that factory glue it is still in place wow she is absolutely mint with shoes i hardly find these dolls with shoes oh my gosh thank you so much lisa let's see who else is here <gasps> look at this this is amazing. All these dolls, of course, are going in my collection. This is Disney animated Cinderella. Just gorgeous factory elastics. Her little mouse here. Shoes. Oh my gosh, stunning. Stunning. Take a look at this, guys. Look at these four beautiful dolls that are joining our collection. There's nothing else in the box, guys. Just packaging. This is so amazing. Let me give you guys a close-up look of what we got. Thank you so much, Lisa. Here we have two big brats, Jasmine and Chloe, two Disney animators, Belle and Cinderella. I am just so excited. All of these dolls will be added to our collection. And guys, take a look at this. I brought over the box that had the little houses in the workroom. And this is the box that I've been saving for so many years. These little houses were made by a railroad train enthusiast. And look at this lights up. So it makes me think, um, I'm not going to light it up, of course, but this one does take batteries. So I could actually, it has an on and off switch over there. Take a look at this. It's so detailed. I love dollhouses and miniatures, and I have a few dollhouses. And this box was just a box I kept all my odd bits and pieces that needed work, like this table that needs a leg repaired and things like that. But I wanted to show you the houses that I've saved for so many years that I got when I was working in the antique store. This is part of the house, so it could come apart. I'm just going to see if I can show you. So here are the bottom of two of the houses, and they're signed by the person who made them. They're handcrafted, made by Tiny Treasures, and this one is marked one of 40. So she must have made 40 houses. He or she, I think it's a she, must have made 40 houses. So I'm very excited to work on these houses again and try to glue them back up.
So this one goes like this, and I think this one goes to this house here. And I just have to repair it. Might be able to go like that, and this goes like that. And so it's a, you guys get the picture. And then there's a grist mill that's completely taken apart, but all the pieces are in there. It just needs gluing, and I just never got around to it because I didn't have a railroad train set up. But now I'm going to, so it looks like I have the makings of three little houses here, plus these. These are ornaments that I got because they look like um, miniature houses, and they're sort of, if you put them down here, they're sort of the same scale. So I, I just picked those up along the way. But I'm going to try to put these houses together at some point and add it to the model train setup that we have in our shop. So that's it, guys. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.